Hello! This video tutorial will show you how dynamic mixing can be achieved using the state mechanism in WISE. In this video, you will see how to create states, how to assign state groups to audio objects, how to adjust interpolation times, and finally, how to adjust your mix properties for each created state. First off, let's create a state group and a series of corresponding states. To do so, switch to the Game Syncs tab in the Project Explorer. Right-click the States section and create a new state group. For this example, we will name the state group Game Intensity. Now, let's create three states under this state group called Calm, Stress, and Fight. If we load a state into the Property Editor, you can see that there are four properties that can be modified by states at runtime. Pitch, low pass filter, volume, and LFE. It is important to understand that when you adjust properties at the state level, they have a global impact on your audio. In most cases, you will want to adjust properties at the object level. So let's leave the state properties at their default values. Now, if we load the state group object into the property editor, you can see that we can control the transition time between state changes. When nothing is specified in the list, the default transition time is applied. You can see that by default, the transition time is currently set to one second. To create a custom transition time, simply click the Insert button. For our example, we will create a two second transition time between the state's calm and stress. Now, if we want to use the same duration when transitioning in the opposite direction from the stress state to the calm state, Simply select the bidirectional checkbox. If you don't select it, WISE will use the default transition time value. OK, now that we have created a state group and a series of states, we can now subscribe audio objects to it. In most cases, state groups are assigned to buses so that you can apply mix changes to whole categories of sounds. Let's go to the Master Mixer hierarchy and subscribe the Ambience bus to the state group Game Intensity. To do so, simply load the Ambience bus into the Property Editor, switch to the States tab, and then select Game Intensity from the drop-down menu. All three states will automatically appear in the list below. When you select a state, you can adjust the four properties available. In this example, we will set the volume of Calm to minus 10 dB and stress to minus 5 dB. Now, let's test how this sounds. To simulate state changes in WISE, you simply have to play an object that is routed to the ambience bus, select the state button in the transport control, and then change the states from the drop-down menu. Notice how the volume changes as we switch from the calm to the stress state. WISE interpolates the change in volume over two seconds, which is the value we specified earlier for the state group. If we go back to the property editor of the ambience bus, you can see there is a mode button beside each of the four properties. If we click the button, the following three options are displayed. Absolute, Relative, and Disabled. In most situations, the Relative option is appropriate because the property changes are applied as offsets to the object property values specified on the General Settings tab. Now, if we had selected the Absolute option, the state property values would have overwritten the property values set on the General Settings tab. The Disabled option is useful if you don't want the state to affect the property values at all. That's it! You now know how to create and assign states to audio objects in WISE. For more information on using states, refer to the help.